Yes, hello. I will present you uh, i5, that is a new, not a new, but another C++ wrapper. There is a lot. Uh, me and Luke, that is here, are working for Blue Brand project. And we developed this wrapper on intern seven years ago for, for fit your needs at the beginning. Okay, in, um, in Blue Brand project, we are doing a brain simulation. And so we are generating a lot, lot of data about neurons. And so we need, we need a way to store all these data uh, in a real, reliable way. And so as we use C++ for most of our projects, we have developed a C++ wrapper. So what we are doing in uh, Brain is circuit buildings. It means that we generate millions of neurons together and we are computing uh, touching points and things like that. So it's a really huge file. And when we have uh, generated this uh, circuit, we are doing simulation with, uh, we are sending electricity inside the brain and uh, looking at uh, spike and there is gigas of spike. And uh, we don't make our own uh, very, file format inside HDF5. We use one that is developed by someone else that is Allen Institute. Oh yeah, that's it. So I5 is a quite used project outside our, our company. We have an active community. We have several releases. Uh, it's compatible with Windows, Linux, and Mac. It's on C++11 and we support all HDF5 since 1.8. Uh, yes, it's header only. It is, I think, one of the main points. Yes. So we will look how is it will. So when we, one of the things we give first is really good, I think, is uh, AI. It means that we stop closing file groups and everything. Is, uh, everything is handled by the library itself with context, with scope. So for example, in this slide, it's only two lines, creating a file and creating a data set on a group called B, look, A, B, and giving a vector of data. And magically, in those lines, that creating group, data space, attributes, everything you want. And you don't under lifetime, in fact, it's already done. The other things we give to C++ user is a converter and deduction of type. You can give type of boost matrix, eigen, vector, extensor. Even if it's non-contiguous, just like vector or vector, we handle that directly and we write it at the end in the, in, in this small example, it, uh, it puts the matrix inside the I5. So yeah, so, yeah we support uh, a lot of time that type. Um, so yeah, some example, create a data set, create an attribute, everything is uh, to read, it is the same as to write, it's read, you give, uh, you, can, you can give the type you want of the last line, a vector, matrix, uh, and it reads inside, serializing things. We have some advanced feature, for example, we support uh, MPI natively, you only need to, to create a MPIO file driver and to give it to when you create the file and it works. We have chunking and compression, but for chunking we only got uh, the basic one, uh, bflat and Z, uh, zip. So I think we should support BLOSK after the presentation of yesterday. Um, yeah, to create chunk and compression it's properties, so you create a properties object and you add chunk, deflate, and what you want. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you have access to native type. Um, it means that um, we don't support all found what function of HDF5 because there is too much and we don't understand half of them. So, so we give you HID if you want and you can do what you want uh, because we don't manage object, object yourself. We do nothing except giving you uh, a nice API 
So you can do basic stuff. We have made some uh, performances tests, yes. And, uh, and we are quite, we are a bit above the dev file, but not so much. So the first implementation was a basic one with a non-continuous data and to compare and we, we a vector of vector and we write one vector or one vector, a, a, a loop and it was horrible in fact um, compared to I5 and we, we ask why and it's because you have to create uh, only one big uh, vector to write. So I, I, I mean that uh, without thinking, in fact, we already do optimization inside. If you do, yeah, that. Um, yeah, what we want to, to, to go next, yes, is uh, we love to have multi-threading in this day five, really, really one, because we support MPI, but it's uh, one thread. Um, yes, the same. And uh, our problem actually is uh, irregular hyperslabs because uh, it's really hard to get any irregular hyperslab from a user and convert it to something uh, that we can write and read which is most difficult and write because there is no documentation of internal of hyperslabs. There is documentation of how to use it as a user but not how the data will be written in which order and something yeah, we cannot manage to understand. And yeah, we support uh, we support compute time, but uh, we don't support compute time of uh, irregular objects. Just like if you put vector of vector, if you have inside your compute type, we will not manage it. Yeah, that's it. Thanks. Do you have a question? Thank you. Okay. Get the mic to you. Hi, thank you. Um, could you show the, the code that you use for the benchmark just out of out yes, of interest? It, it is on the GitHub. Ah, okay, I will look there. In the thank benchmark you. directory. Thanks. Any other questions? Maybe are there questions online? Uh, well, chat. How is it working? I have no idea how to see it. Uh, okay. Oh, we are not joined. That's strange. Let's join and look at the chat. No, no question. Now, oh, there's a question. When, when you're having your scaling problem with the large number of file objects, like groups and data sets, are you ensuring that you use the latest version of the file format? Using what? the latest version of the file format? Because by default, you're probably getting the older version, which it, it's a regular B tree has tail append problems. So you should definitely specify using the latest version of the file format. Okay. Uh, another question sort of in, in, in terms of future work, I think you mentioned the STL. Is, is it a goal or maybe it's a non-goal to uh, in a way, uh, yeah, given an arbitrary nested combination of STL types uh, that that gets automatically serialized. Yes. Is that your goal? Okay. Yes, yes. Good. And you want to do that in a header only fashion. Yes. And do you foresee any any issues with that? Uh, no. No. Not right now. Okay. Good. Yeah. I, I mean, there are some corner cases like we are dealing with union. Do you support unions? Already? No. Okay, well, you could use uh, a. Oh, you don't will fit inside the FFI style. Well, you could use an opaque type. Uh, okay. And then, but you would have to then somehow store some metadata to recover it later. Okay. And, and, but, you know. Okay. We don't support table neither. Okay. Uh huh. All right. Any, any other questions? No? Okay, then. Thank you, thank you very much. And. That brings us, I, was, I think Seren is our next speaker. Uh, 
oh no, i have that wrong. i don't have my list.